Today, Hillary Clinton did events and fundraisers in blue state California. Uh, her Republican rival, Donald Trump, was also in a blue state. He was in Massachusetts this afternoon. He did a fundraiser in Boston, about which Bostonians were apparently not very pleased. After his Boston fundraiser, Donald Trump headed further north into another blue state, a state where Barack Obama won by 18 points the first time around and 15 points the next time around. Uh, Donald Trump, after his Boston fundraiser today, went to the great state of Maine, where he was introduced as such. What a crowd this is. I think this is bigger than the Republican convention a couple of months ago. I, I heard, uh, I heard uh, Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren campaigning. You know, you know Elizabeth Warren, right? That's a right-wing radio host introducing the Donald Trump event in Bangor, Maine today. Just in case anybody wondered how the Trump campaign was doing on the whole toning it down with the race stuff plan. Uh, the guy doing the war cry, making fun of Native Americans, uh, then introduced the Republican governor of the great state of Maine, who is perhaps most nationally famous for claiming that one of Maine's big problems is black drug dealers coming in from out of state to impregnate white girls in Maine. Guys of the name D-Money, Smoothie, Shifty, uh, these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York, they come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave. Instead of saying Maine women, I said white women. If you go, and, and I'm not going to apologize to the Maine women for that, because if you go to Maine, you will see that we're essentially 95% white. If you want to make it racist, go right ahead, do whatever you want. I had to go screaming from the top, top of my lungs about uh, uh, black dealers coming in and doing the things that they're doing to our state. That's Maine's Republican governor, Paul LePage, who appeared with Donald Trump in Maine today uh, and who thinks of himself evidently as kind of a, a Donald Trump kindred spirit. Thank you. It's a very great honor and a humbling experience to be up here today to introduce and to introduce you to the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. You know, many people say we're a lot alike. He's a little bit shy, but I'm working on him. Thank you, man. So beautiful. So beautiful to see, I'll tell you. So beautiful to see. I want to thank our governor because our governor, I call him ours, he's a great, great guy. Respected all over the country and we really love it. Thank you, Paul. About that respected all over the country thing, uh, here's something else that we've got exclusively tonight that you won't see anywhere else. It took us months to get this, but we finally did. Paul LePage is actually one of the least popular governors in the country. Uh, by last summer, the situation in Maine, particularly around his governorship and his various gaffes and offending people, it got tense enough that there was talk of impeaching him last summer. And in the middle of that impeachment scrum about Paul LePage, he decided, you know what? You know what? Never mind you with your impeachment. If you want me to go, I'll just go. If the people of Maine want me, I'll do the job. If they don't want me, just ask me to leave. You don't have to impeach me. Well, there was a woman who wrote you a note and asked you to resign. <laughs> well, there's 1.3 million people. So far, I've only got four people write me that wanted me to resign. Four people have written me. That was last summer, Governor Paul LePage saying, if the people of Maine want me to, if they don't want me to, just ask me to leave. You don't have to impeach me. He said only four people had written to him. Only four people had uh, sent him letters demanding his resignation. He said, the people of Maine really want me to go. Don't, you don't have to impeach me. Just write me letters and I'll go. Well, we filed a Freedom of Information Act request. Um, 
asking to see if anyone in Maine took him up on his offer. Asking a sort of simple question, right? Did the governor ever receive more than those four letters asking him to quit when he said publicly that he would quit if enough Mainers told, them that, told him that he should? Well, it took Paul LePage's office nine months to answer that question for us after we filed our Freedom of Information Act request. And we were a little miffed nine months, right? How hard could this be to answer? Right? The governor, it's a simple thing. He invited letters from his constituents. We just wanted to know how many people actually did send him a letter. How hard could that be? You just have to count things that are already in your office. Why did that take so long? Well, I'm here to tell you, we finally got the letters. And a couple people uh, did write to him. So now we know uh, why it took so long. Uh, and this is just the letters, it turns out, uh, that came in in the first month after Paul LePage asked for letters from the people of the state of Maine uh, to tell him if they uh, wanted him to resign. More than, sorry, there's a bunch. Uh, as far, by our count, more than 1,800 people in Maine uh, just in that first month did actually take, do you want me to keep going? Uh, did take time to write to him um, and ask him uh, to resign just in the first month after he asked. We don't even have the letters that came in after the first month. This is just what came in in that first month. And it's interesting, you know, going through them, they are heartfelt letters, uh, polite letters. Uh, there are a few rude letters. Uh, there's a lot of handwritten letters. Most of them, though, are, are very short and, and polite and to the point. Here's one. Um, Dear Governor, we have this one? We have the one? We have the one? There we go. Dear Governor, please resign. And that we've just pixelated the signature there, and it says, it's a guy who signed his name, it says, a resident of Midcoast, Maine. Here's another fairly typical one. This one came in by email. Dear Governor LePage, you have requested the opinion of the Maine people in regards to you resigning as the governor of this state. My opinion is a very strong yes. Thank you for allowing me to express my choice. <laughs> and so, thank you, Freedom of Information Act. Thank you, people of Maine, for being polite and mostly not obscene in your epic tide of instant disapproval that you expressed directly to your governor when he asked what you thought. And Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump may look at Maine Governor Paul LePage and see a very well-respected governor, but you know what? Take that with a grain of salt. Take that from a Republican who thinks the place he needs to be campaigning right now, of all the states in the country, is the state of Maine. Lots to get to tonight. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.